Hello listeners, we'll continue reading the book Ikigai by Hector Garcia and Francis Mirals. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I want to reach out to a larger audience who love to listen to books. So please do like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so we'll continue. A little stress is good for you. While sustained intense stress is a known enemy of longevity and both mental and physical health, low levels of stress have been shown to be beneficial. After observing a group of test subjects for more than 20 years, Dr. Howard S. Friedman, a psychology professor at the University of California, Riverside, discovered that people who maintained a low level of stress, who faced challenges and put their heart and soul into their work in order to succeed, lived longer than those who chose a more relaxed lifestyle and retired earlier. From this, he concluded that a small dose of stress is a positive thing as those who live with low levels of stress tend to develop healthier habits, smoke less and drink less alcohol. Given this, it is not surprising that many of the super centenarians, people who live to be 110 or more, whom we will meet in this book talk after having lived intense lives and working well into old age. Next para, a lot of sitting will age you. Should I just stand up now? I'll stand up in my next video. <laughs> in the Western world, in particular, the rise in sedentary behavior has led to numerous diseases such as hypertension and obesity, which in turn affect longevity. Spending too much time seated at work or at home not only reduces muscular and respiratory fitness, but also increases appetite and curbs the desire to participate in activities. Being sedentary can lead to hypertension. Imbalanced eating, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and even certain kinds of cancer. Recent studies have shown a connection between a lack of physical activity and the progressive distortion of telomeres in the immune system, which ages those cells and in turn the organism as a whole. This is a problem at all life stages, not only among adults. Sedentary children suffer from high rates of obesity and all its associated health issues and risks, which is why it is so important to develop a healthy and active lifestyle at an early age. It is easy to be less sedentary. It just takes a bit of effort and few changes to your routine. We can access a more active lifestyle that makes us feel better inside and out. We just have to add a few ingredients to our everyday habits. Walk to work or just go on a walk for at least 20 minutes each day. Use your feet instead of an elevator or escalator. This is good for your posture, your muscles and your respiratory system among other things. Participate in social or leisure activities so that you don't spend too much time in front of the television. Replace your junk food with fruit and you will have less of an urge to snack and more nutrients in your system. Oh, I'm such a junkie. I love chips. Get the right amount of sleep. Seven to nine hours is good, but any more than that makes us lethargic. Play with children or pets or join a sports team. This not only strengthens the body, but also stimulates the mind and boosts self-esteem. Be conscious of your daily routine in order to detect harmful habits and replace them with more positive ones. By making these changes, we can begin to renew our bodies and minds and increase our life expectancy. Next para, a model's best kept secret. Though we age both externally and internally, both physically and mentally, one of the things that tell us the most about people's age is their skin, which takes on different textures and colors according to processes going on beneath the surface. Most of those who make their living as models claim to sleep between 9 and 10 hours the night before a fashion show. This gives their skin a taut, wrinkle-free appearance and a healthy, radiant glow. Science has shown that sleep is a key anti-aging tool because when we sleep, we generate melatonin, a hormone that 
excuse me. Oh, a hormone that occurs naturally in our bodies. The pineal gland produces it from the neurotransmitter serotonin, serotonin according to our diurnal and nocturnal rhythms and it plays a role in our sleep and waking cycles. A powerful antioxidant melatonin helps us live longer and also offers the following benefits. It strengthens the immune system, it contains an element that protects against cancer, it promotes the natural production of insulin, it slows the onset of Alzheimer's disease, it helps prevent osteoporosis and fight heart disease. For all these reasons, melatonin is a great ally in preserving youth. It should be noted, however, that melatonin production decreases after age 30. We can compensate for this by eating a balanced diet and getting more calcium, soaking up a moderate amount of sun each day, getting enough sleep, avoiding stress, alcohol, tobacco and caffeine, all of which make it harder to get a good nice rest, depriving us of the melatonin we need. Experts are trying to determine whether artificially stimulating production of melatonin might help slow the aging process, which would confirm the theory that we already carry the secret to longevity within us.